Hello and welcome back to the channel, bestie. Welcome back. Today is not your ordinary Friday. No, today is a little bit of a sorrow and sad and emotion-filled day. Today is the last day that I will have on this earth this hairstyle. This hairstyle specifically. Okay, yeah, that was real, real dramatic. I'm a dramatic gal today, don't you worry. But today is the last day that I will have these luscious freaking locks. To me, this hairstyle I have has done me very, very well. It is the longest I have ever had my hair. And some of you might be thinking, mm, girl, your hair's not that long. This is the longest hair I have ever owned and had on my noodle on my head. So this is long hair for me. This hair has done me super, super well. I have not had my hair cut in over two years. The last time I had my hair cut was in fall of 2019 and then the world shut down and now we're in this like worldwide Panooner Panini Pandora's box, you know, the C word. We are all dealing with this worldwide Panini press that we're in and so I haven't ventured out and gotten my hair done quite yet. I don't know why, it is just something I'm a little iffy about. I'm also just very iffy about getting my hair cut in general because your girl has had some haircuts in the past. Um, 2013 to 2017, wild ride. What was I thinking? I wish I could ask 2013 to 2017 Kaylon. I really wish I could, but it's cool. We're here now. She has grown out. She is beautiful. She has given me drama. She has given me high ponytails. She has given me bad bish energy, but then she's also given me heartache and she's given me um, sadness because she often doesn't like to cooperate because she got a dead end. She's a little choppy doppy. She got a little loosey goosey strands over here it's a whole hot mess from a distance I look put together up close mm, young, young, young girl looks like a hot mash <laughs> but it's fine because we get this fixed tomorrow but before I show you what my hair is gonna look like you know let you see the finished product I need to give you a little bit of history of 2013 to 2017 Kaylond and where her hair choices went awry. What was she thinking? I don't know, but I gotta roast myself a little bit. So I am gonna take you on a journey. I'm going to show you the haircuts of Kaylon's past because I feel that you need to understand where I was at, where I am now, and what I will have tomorrow. Because I think it'll just give us a full picture of haircuts, why I haven't cut my hair in two years outside of the panini press, and what I'm looking for and what I'm going to get. So enjoy this ride as I attempt to roast myself because humans, people, I think I'm funnier than I most likely actually am, but I'm still gonna think I'm funny and I'm still gonna try to roast myself, so buckle in. <sighs> also, don't forget to subscribe, but here we go to the rose session. Boop. During my last year of high school, I decided to chop off all my hair because I wanted to feel new and fresh going into my college experience. What I didn't know though, is that I was actually making myself into a Karen. I had the Karen haircut hard, let me talk to your manager, and the hair growth process was even harder. But here we are, the hair has grown out, and I'm excited for my haircut. Good morning, all you cool cats and kittens. It is now Saturday. It is like 8.30 in the morning. My appointment is up to 10. I had this like weird feeling that I wasn't going to wake up for my appointment and I had like 20,000 alarms on my phone because at the salon I'm going to, if you just like no call, no show, they can still charge you the full amount of the, um, 
they can still charge you the amount of the appointment which like completely understandable if i were to not show and i put that hairstylist out of business please pay her like that's for sure on me but i didn't want that to happen because i've been so eager to getting my hair cut all since i made the appointment like two weeks ago um this is what we are working with she's long but like She's ratty from like here down. So I'm thinking like we might have to take about, I don't know, four to five inches off just for it to look healthy again. Um, I'm going to not go in with a hairstyle in mind. I'm just gonna ask the hairstylist, be like, okay, let's make sure my hair looks healthy, that it is framing my face, and that I look like a baddie when I leave the salon. That's all I'm looking for. But before I get myself too anxious about being late, I'm going to chug water, eat my breakfast, and then head out the door because the appointment's like 20 minutes away, but I wanna make sure I have enough time getting parking, making sure I have tip money, making sure maybe I have a coffee in my system, but also maybe not because I don't have to poop mid hair appointment, you know what I mean? Like imagine being in the seat and your hair is all wet and you look like an alien and then you're like, hey girl, I got a dookie. And she's like, what? And you're like, yeah, I'm not trying to have that be my first impression or have that be my hairstylist's first impression of me. So maybe I'll hold off on the coffee. I'll let you know. I'm going to head out and I will see you soon. To the salon. Hey people, when I say this place is aesthetic, just look at their bathroom. It is a single-use bathroom, like gold accents. <laughs> what is this place? It's so cute. I never have my hair curled and so I feel so nice. Eee! A few hours later. Okie dokie artichokey. We are back. I went to the salon. It is literally like nine to ten hours later. It's fine. I'm coming at you with an update of my hair. Okay, I was hella dramatic in the intro saying that this was the last day I'll ever have long hair. Okay, my hair is still long. I explained to my hairdresser, hey girl, I'm a little stressy desi messy about cutting a lot of length off, but I want my hair to look healthy. And she's like, I got you, babe. And this is what we ended up doing. She uh, cut my hair so nicely. She cut the bottoms. We only cut maybe like two inches off. She curled it for me. Will I ever curl my hair again? Maybe. I will have to teach myself how to curl my hair though. I am very much so a straight hair girl because my hair is pinned straight typically. And it just takes a lot of work to curl my hair and to have the curls like stick. You know, it's obnoxious in my opinion. So thank you so much for coming along the ride with me to getting my hair done. I wanted to kind of document that journey to the salon and pampering myself today because I don't often pamper myself. <laughs> I don't often pamper myself in the sense of like spending money and doing fun things like that. I will often um, like do self-care at home, but spending money on myself is a very, very 
tough and sore subject that I really need to work through and maybe I'll make that a series on this channel but <laughs> Make sure you practice some self-care. It does not mean you have to book a hair appointment and get your hair did. No, practice self-care. Make sure you do some meditations. You say your affirmations and really just enjoy your life and enjoy your day. I'm going to sign off for now and I will see you in our next video. Oh God, I feel like a brand new bitch. I feel like a brand new bitch because I am. But before I let you go, I wanted to bring you this behemoth. I wanted to bring you this behemoth. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi? Oh. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye.